motherfuckers. Hey guys, welcome back to Chateau Let's Play. We're playing Kirby and the Crystal Shards. We're in Waterworld. Uh, right now we have dumb electrocuty power. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of it. Yeah, bomb power. Okay, bomb combined with not bomb. Even though homing rockets is good. Bomb with Earth is good? Fuck. Oops. Okay, we can try again. Oh, stick of dynamite. I believe that hurts me, right? Yup. Great. Won't be using that power anymore. Do 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 Boo, boo, boo. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Boop. Bomb, bomb, bomb. 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 Why does that fucking hurt me? It shouldn't. God damn it. God. Oh my damn it, man. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh yeah, let's do bomb snow. That's the one we needed last time. Yeah! I'm a snowman with a fuse! Uh-oh. All right, regular snow powers. And we just run across this bridge of collapsing rocks and rubble. And we successfully maneuver that. And we freeze some guys. And it's all very, ah, oh, yes. Nope. Yes. Fire and ice! Oh, it's like terrible. Does it even do anything? Sort of. It's like super close range. Bummer. It's really bad. Aw. Sad. That was really sad. That was terrible. That was terrible. But... Celebrity is as celebrity does. Remember that. Fame's a fickle friend. Remember that, Harry. <laughs> the Box Cowboys, Waddledy and Kirby. We. Ah, oh, no! Damn. Whee! Whee! Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Whee! Whee! Ice cream. Whee! Meat. Ah, oh, just some good old floating ice cream and meat. Love that floating ice cream and meat. Uh, Fuck you, crab. 
Yes! Invincibility, bro! Took a rush! Die, Kibble! That's that knight's name. It's Kibble. Die, Kibble! Aw. Now die, Kibble! Get eaten by me! So yeah, I was talking about this a few episodes ago, but I'm reading this book called The Paper Magician. It's pretty good. I always like books that have interesting magic systems. Um, in this one, it's... You get... You bind your... You, if you're a magician, it sort of takes place in real life London, but the past, right around the time when telephones were starting to become a thing. And what it is, is as a magician, you can bind yourself, you can bind yourself to any material or thing that is man-made. So there's things like smelters and paper magicians, which are called folders. Smelters deal with uh, metal alloys. Um, uh, there's fire magicians, there's, um, uh, there's poly something, which is, like, plastic, there's rubber magicians, and then there's also, like, the dark arts, which is, um, which is sort of funny because it's, like, people were created by people, so people can be a thing that can be enchanted, too. Basically, the only things that can be enchanted are, um, things that are man-made. And since men are made by men, technically, um, they can be enchanted too. Um, so that's interesting. And you bind yourself to one of the materials, and then once you're bound, then that's the only material that you can cast spells with and on. So the basic plot of the book is that this girl graduates from magic school and gets to pick what... Get, graduates from basic magic school and gets to pick what materials she's going to bind to. Except for, um, and normally you would get to pick except that there's not, there's not enough folders which is paper magicians because everyone thinks it's like a fucking stupid, it's fucking stupid. Um, so there, the number of folders in the world has gone down. So the school is basically like, either you become an apprentice folder or you don't get to bind with anything and no one's gonna train you. You're never, you're not gonna get your, your magician certified license. Um, so she's like, fine, I'll be a folder. She's like, I wanted to be a smelter, which is the metal alloys one, but fine, I'll be a, sm uh, a folder. So she goes and she, she goes and starts apprenticing at the folding guy, and it's actually, like, super tight, and honestly, I don't know that much about the other ones right now. Some of them seem cool, but seriously, like, folder seems like the coolest one, because it's, you can, like, fold, like, animals and animate them. And even fold, like, and, and, like, animate them for forever. Just, like, to just, like, be alive like an animal. Um, they're still made out of paper, which is interesting. But it's, like, cool origami, which is tight. It's, like, living origami. Anyway, she gets this dog, and then this lady shows up. And it's just, like, a few months, maybe weeks, weeks, maybe months into her apprenticeship who we don't know too much about, um, but she steals her master magician's heart, like, out of her, out of his body. She's an excisioner, which is what, what the, um, the dark kind of magic, the, the people magicians are, the people, magicians who enchant human bodies as their material. Um, and she steals his heart, and then she's gonna, he's gonna die. She makes him a paper heart. But then he's gonna die if he doesn't- if she doesn't fucking go get his heart back from her, so she fucking does, and that's what the book's about. It's actually, like, super cool. Um, I love anything with, like, a cool magic system, and this has one of the coolest ones. Um, I wish we- it, I wish it had, like, just a little bit more detail in the magic system. I'm super used to, like, Brandon Sanderson books, which is, like, he's, like, the magic system author. Where the magic system is, like the like the whole reason you read the book like the story's fine but like 
the intricate magic system is like, that's his jam. That's like what he does. Um, and it's really cool. So, yeah, basically. Uh, Brandon Sanderson. If you like magic systems, read Brandon Sanderson. Motherfucker. Boop. Oh, damn. Dip. Dip damn. Um, if you like magic systems, read Brandon Sanderson. But also, maybe check out the... The Paper Magician. Because it's fun, too. Um... I just started the Glass Magician, which is the sequel, and the Master Magician, which will be the third book, and I think the last. Um, though you never really know, all of those ender games, he's like, they're fucking still coming out. I gotta read that new one, the, the Ender and Exile one. I don't know too much about it. I wish I did. <laughs> I don't want fucking cutty fucking cut powers anymore. I don't want it. I don't want it! I don't want volcano power either! God damn it, give me a fucking good combo. Fine. Die. Um, so yeah. Reading is magic! Isn't it? I like to read. Oh, if I had gotten that, I could have gotten that. That didn't make any goddamn sense. If I had gotten that cut power, I could have broken through that barrier. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Let me just check on my timer here. God, I forgot to fucking start the goddamn timer, so I don't know how long this episode's been. But... I'm gonna say... It's gonna have been long enough. Fucking... Fuck! Fuck! Fuck just happened. God damn it. Fucking piss off! Jesus. All right, guys. Damn it. Damn it! All right, see you guys next time. I've been Lucas. This has been Chateau Let's Play. It's a pleasure. See you later, Chateaux.